வணக்கம் மே ஹைதர் அலி சையத் ஆசிர்வாதம் சே யுனைடெட் அண்டர் தமிழ் ஷேவா டியர் மிஸ்டர் பாண்டியன் யோர் யூடியூப் சேனல் ஹேஸ் பின் ஃபாலோட் பை மோர் தென் அ லேக் ஃபாலோவர்ஸ் மெனி ஆஃப் த ஃபாலோவர்ஸ் ஆஃப் யோர் சேனல் ஹேவ் இன்ஸ்பயர்ட் பை தமிழ் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி தே ஆர் பிலீவிங் தட் யூ ஆர் ரிவீலிங் த ட்ரூ ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஆஃப் தமிழ்ஸ் so it's your responsibility to give the real history with scientific and archaeological evidence along with logical explanations but while watching your videos we found so many intentional errors fabrications falsification over many videos against the real history dear mr tc pandey now we are going to list out few errors among them kindly check and rectify yourself kindly stop straying people from the real history and the real asivaga Mr TC Pandey let's imagine while you walking on the road a thief snatches your bag will you chase him or will you start praying on the road man made crisis should be rectified by man made reaction isn't it recently you asked your followers to do pachi amma worship while talking about asivagam way of life other people and religious organization are labeling followers of asivagam as atheists the reason behind asivagam followers they never indulge in idol worship ritual nor do they follow any priestly cult and their tantrism asivagam siddhas never asked to worship them they asked to follow the guidance which was given by the first siddha tamil shiva alai said asivagam suggesting to learn about all kinds of art technologies and information by the help of the masters alai's ayanars and to achieve the wisdom one should get healthy body and healthy mind yoga meditation used to achieve that wisdom in other word it is the process to activate kundalini chakra to achieve higher level of consciousness to connect with god by the way of asivagam one does not require any mediator or idol worship or ritual of any kind any form of external materials but it has been noted that mr tc pandian you are talking about saptakani saptamuni concept as idol worship and top of that you are requesting your followers to do pachiyamma worship mr tc pandian we very well know and aware about the saptakani saptamuni concept it is the seven stages of human life of every man and woman it is giving us for guidance about in which age what are you what are the things to do instead of following asivagam guidance mr tc pandian you are suggesting to worship pachiyamma idol does it make any betterment to your followers life why are you trying to hijack asivagam principles why are you trying to market varna dharma principle under the label of asivagam mr tc pandian why are you encouraging pachiyamma worship if such kind of idol worship can solve man made crisis why are you not following the same why are you doing research creating videos and posting over social media better you can do pachiyamma worship isn't it do you think youtube is powerful than pachiyamma then why are you suggesting your followers to simply sit at home and do pachiyamma worship will it solve the problems every action should have a reaction if you doing worship instead of reaction it will lead to slavery only mr tc pandya your invitation for pachiyamma worship was to keep the common people away from reaction against the man made crisis by the way you indirectly working for syndicate of global elites new world order or saudi wahabi network to suppress the people reaction isn't it mr tc pandian instead of misleading people if you ask to do yoga and meditation at least they would connect to higher consciousness and gain wisdom that would lead to eliminating fear and would give power to people to stand against selfishness everyone accepting that noha started his shift from kumari kandam kumari kandam was completely belonging to black tamils mr Ta tcv pandian you also accepted noha as tamil color of tamil people is black so the prophet noha also a black tamil but in your researches you are suddenly painting him as a white and calling him a white jew logically does it possible nowadays many people migrating from one climatic zone to another even after moving and settling there their color and structure of their face remain the same for example white people migrating all across globe and even after centuries they are being white only and tamil blacks hematic black semitic black people migrating to colder region like south africa 
South Australia, America, Canada, Europe and many regions still their colors and structure remain the same. Mixture of inter-race DNA only can change the color. That's too clearly recognizable. So Mr. T.C. Pandian, how do you say that Noah started his journey in his boat from Kumari Khandam as a black Tamil before the advent of the great flood and after the boat landed in Turkey, Noah came out as white Jew? Logically, it's not possible. Satyuga Alai's era of information has already started. T.C. Pandian, even you know very well about that. In this situation, please let us know why are you giving such kind of interpolated, concocted, falsified, fabricated history? We are requesting you to rectify this error. One of your followers questioning you regarding our channel Asivagam United under Tamil Shiva and you replied him that I am trying to destroy you. Mr. T.C. Pandit, if you have any truth in your words, why are you afraid of us in Satyuga Alai's age of information? Do you have any hidden agenda? As some of people said that you are working for Illuminati's. Mr. T.C. Pandian, your videos on topic of Hagar, Ibrahim, Sarah, Moses clearly goes against Bible, Quran and the real history. Do you know Jesus, Muhammad and family of Ibrahim of Semitic black race? They never entertained Aryan settlers, Roman Persian. Mr. T.C. Pandian, you know first Antichrist is Cain, the father of uncivilized, restless, barbaric people of white race. Coming of Antichrist mentioned in Bible refers to coming of children of Cain, Persian to the land of noble Tamil. Mr. T.C. Pandian, you very well know that Varnadharam principles was introduced by Persian Aryans, the children of Cain. By making a black Semitic Moses as a white Jew and founder of Mason, the secret society. Why are you trying to protect Persian Aryan settlers, children of Cain, the final Antichrist? Mr. T.C. Pandian, are you a part of that Masonic secret society? Are you working for Antichrist? Mr. T.C. Pandian, you very well know that Persian Roman Empire, the children of Cain illegally occupied the land of Tamil and Semitic black race. Now they are hiding behind Shia, Sufi, Sunni, Wahhabi label and fooling the whole world by betraying the real followers of Islam. It is very clear that by calling Moses as Mason, you are making a black man as white Illuminati and hiding the identity of real enemy. Mr. T.C. Pandian, please stop serving Persian Aryan settlers, the final Antichrist, children of Cain who now ruling and disguised as Muslim world. Language is not the basis of identification by DNA. All black living in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Baluchistan belongs to Tamil race. Mr. T.C. Pandian, you are a very famous person for revealing history by doing etymology research. But according to our understanding, we know very few of the legendary etymologists. They are Pawalar, Gyan Prakashar, Karthik Enar. One of our Tamil history researcher, Mr. Maso Victor, also followed their etymology strategies. We re he reveals so many historical facts and connection between the global history and Tamil history. We would like to know about what is your standard strategy. Which basis are you doing etymology research? Why are your etymology logic is varying from time to time without any fundamental and basic logic? History is purely based on timeline based events race and tribe, but you are telling your history based on your imagination, fabricated, falsified, interpolated, concocted version of your stories goes against the real history, timeline, archaeological evidence, Tamil tradition and holy books too. Mr. T.C. Pandian, you keep on promoting evolution theory which is not yet proven as fact. Your history based on etymology, numerology and Varnadharam mythology is just a fairy tale. It's just a theory, it's not fact. Real history should have timeline, archaeological, historical, traditional and logical evidence. By the way, you are putting all the events of Ramayana, Mahabharata into a small land of Tamil Nadu. Mr. T.C. Pandian, do you think Tamil Nadu state was the only land of ancient Tamil civilization? If so, who built hundreds of pyramids across the globe? How was the nuclear blast kind of disaster happened at Syria and Indus Valley around Mahabharata war timeline? Right from Turkey, Gopikli Tepe, Anatolia, Mesopotamia, Egypt, Baluchistan, Indus Valley civilization, Mahanjadaro, Harappa civilization, Ratigiri, Keredi and many more other civilization belongs to which race? What is their languages? Whoever currently living in that land, are they descendants of those ancient civilization? 
Mr. T.C. Pandian, why don't you talk about the Roman Persian migration and the invasion to South Asia? Why don't you talk about the real history of Islam, the history of Semitic black people, the history of Arab revolt? Why don't you speak about the history of the genocide of the 8 lakh plus black Semitic people executed by Aryan settler Saudi Wahhab families in 19th centuries? Mr. T.C. Pandit, you very well know that Jesus, Muhammad, Bible, Quran never entertained stiff neck settlers regime of Roman Persian, the children of first antichrist king. But you said that Islam, a desert form of Asivism? You know very well that the Muslim are following hadith written by Persian settlers. You keep hitting Jews and Brahmins as a culprit behind all atrocity happening in the world. What is Jew? Is it mentioning any race? When Moses is being a black man from children of Israel of Semitic black race, how can the real Jew can be white? Who are the real Jews? The Semitic black or the white Aryans? In that case, could you please talk about the currently settled white Jew on the land of Israel? When children of Israel are black, how can the real Israelite be white? Mr. T.C. Pandian, why don't you talk about the real history? Until few years before, you spoke many facts with logic and evidences. Nowadays, you are fooling the people with using etymology, numerology and Illuminatis. Remember, without the support of native people of the land, how can the Illuminatis execute the agenda here? As a history researcher, what is your responsibility? Blaming an invisible Illuminatis and praying to support them by making collective consciousness? Or your responsibility should be in exposing the local hypocrites associated with the Illuminati. So kindly stop distracting the people. Rectify yourself. Mr. T.C. Pandian, you have thousands of blind followers. Please don't astray them. Think about your karma. Recently, you published a video which talking about my research and my photograph with manipulated statements. You told Shiva as Allah and Islam is the desert form of Asivaga. But I never said such baseless information. Please remember, Sait Allah Tamil Shiva is the third son of Adam. He was thought about all information by Almighty by pen. Tamil Shiva is the first Siddha, founder of the first Tamil Sangha, first king of Pandya dynasty. The same was confirmed by all holy books. So it's clearly defined that Tamil Shiva is not the Almighty. All this information clearly proves that Tamil Shiva was a human who achieved Kundalini awakening for the first time and he connected to God by using higher consciousness. But your statement clearly guiding people to the wrong history, wrong perception, misguiding, misunderstanding. By the way, it is indirectly protecting the settlers and settlers policy of Varnadharam, Aryavarta, New World Order. Your informations are lie, deception, concocted, falsified. Fabricated version of etymology based historical event can extend the Kali Yuga. As you very well know, you are fooling the people. So kindly rectify yourself and be loyal to your followers. Selfishness of native hypocrite is the main cause of destruction of golden era. It destroyed Asivagam, Satyuga, power to people from Tamil society. Don't sell your soul to Satan Antichrist settlers. Stop misguiding the people for gaining some fame, money and power. Don't waste your talent by serving Antichrist Cain children of children Roman Persian. Stop protecting Varna Dharam by protecting all the religious and sectors. Mr. T.C. Pandian, we hope you will rectify soon. Please start working to establish kingdom of God under Asivagam way of life which gives power to people. Nandri Vanakkam. Welcome. Thank you.